Another impact of the uh, uh, non-biblical scrolls relates to the book of Revelation, right? Yes. Uh, and and I, I remember in your book there, you, uh, you, you talk about two things, especially the eschatological war and you talk about the New Jerusalem. Yes. We've got about four minutes. Uh, right. Let's hear about this. Well, l l let me be very brief, Jim. Of course, Revelation is such a wonderful book. Um, uh, I, w w we, re we read about the Battle of Armageddon. Right. But did you know in Revelation, there's very little about Armageddon. We now have a scroll found at Qumran and it's coming to the museum, to Canada. It's called the War Scroll. And what this is, it's a blow by blow account of the Battle of Armageddon. I cannot imagine after the scrolls for any preacher or commentator to talk about Armageddon without referring no, to the I, War Scroll. Are they actually referring to Har Megiddo, the, the actual yes. spot, Megiddo? Th that these Jews at, at Qumran, they were expecting a great battle at the end of time between the sons of light and the sons of darkness. It was going to be at, at Armageddon and they basically give you a blow, blow by blow account of Armageddon, a holy war, of course, except they, they, were, the, they were the good guys. They're the good guys, right. But, but the idea of Armageddon is fleshed out in, 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 in glorious technicolor in the Dead Sea Scrolls and in Revelation we just have a, a few lines yeah, about it. Yeah. But I, we can assume that uh, John had had some exposure to this, obviously. Well, exactly. So, yeah. so the idea is that the idea in John, we, we're finding this is the background to Revelation. This, it's, a, it's a glorious, rich background we didn't know of before. What, and, and what about the New Jerusalem concept? The New Jerusalem coming down out of yeah. heaven in, in Revelation 21. I saw the holy city, the New Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. We have a scroll from Qumran written uh, before the time of Jesus Christ called the New Jerusalem Scroll. And these people too were expecting there would be a New Jerusalem. You, you see, Jim, what these documents are doing, they are proving that the ideas of Armageddon and the New Jerusalem and so on were not cooked up by a lot of crazy Christians in the second or third century AD that these go back to a rich Jewish cultural heritage and that the New Testament in many ways is a fulfillment of the ideas found in the Old Testament, that the New Testament is the completion of journeys and, and ideas begun in the New Testament. The, the, the Revelation, the, the New Jerusalem is the culmination of the, of the New Jerusalem idea that goes all the way back to Ezekiel. Mm. Final question, uh, impact on, on your life personally. You're a scholar and uh, this is your life's work, but you're also uh, an ordained Baptist minister. You're, uh, you're a man of faith, you're a family man. Uh, how does this study impact you personally? With about a minute and a half. You, you know, Jim, I found that the Dead Sea Scrolls have made me a, 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 a better Christian. They've given me a bigger vision of the world. They've helped me to understand more richly the the Jewish background of our Christian faith. Um, I would say that if you, if you are looking for assurance in your faith, the Dead Sea Scrolls will help you. We have, we have proof, living proof we never had before. Um, if you are looking for scientific evidence to help your faith, they will do that too. If you want to understand the Word of God more fully, the Dead Sea Scrolls will help you. Um, I can uh, tell you beyond the shadow of a doubt that the Dead Sea Scrolls are a source of blessing. I have stood in the bowels of the Rockefeller Museum, and I've held in my hand the Psalm scroll. That's in Jerusalem, uh, right? In Jerusalem. Yeah. I've, I've held in my hand the great Isaiah scroll, and at times like that, one feels very finite and small because we are on holy ground. Mm -hmm. And I want to say to, to your viewers, if you go to the museum to see the Dead Sea Scrolls, prepare yourselves. Um, be quiet before you go. You will be going on holy ground. You will be going into the presence of the greatest discovery of modern times. Yeah. I can say with, beyond the shadow of a doubt that the, the scrolls are faith affirming, they, they are liberating, and, and uh, I urge every Christian to, to open yourselves to the blessing to be found in the Dead Sea Scrolls. And let's show you that.